And my dad always told me, like, there's a difference between talent and God get the talent. I never understood what that meant. I'm playing and watching something and then trying to replicate that a million times. But then I look around the world of basketball and see everything I've done, see that I'm still working on my craft, and I'm not going to waste this talent. So I might as well put on a show on here. I had a fear of that I wasn't going to be good enough in this league, that I wasn't going to actually live out this dream. Oh, she had a catch and shoot for Because I have a learning disability, I think differently already. So I use it to my strength. I see patterns differently, concepts. It takes me a second to understand, which is sometimes frustrating. But sometimes it's great because I'm able to see things that they don't see. rhythm to me. It's literally dance steps. It's my cadence and understanding my feet. She has a visual learner. Like I study basketball a lot. So if I see something that'll help her, I just send it to her right away. And then she's able to like literally do it the next day. I'm counting how many steps he takes and then in my head seeing myself take those same steps. It's not a one, two, three, four. It's a one, two, pause, one, two. Um, and that's kind of just how I've been able to, to think. And that's the nature, okay? Are you talking to me? No, they're talking to me. Oh, my God. Hey, bro. Hey. What'd you do today in school? Yeah? You both play basketball today? Yeah, I play basketball at school. At school? You're so fat this. I know you're so strong. Hey, who is this? Good I know. I know. Who's that one? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, the one to say happy birthday to the old man. Oh, oh. the babies. Oh. Hi, guys. Oh, Even though she's quiet and she's humble, <laughs> she can stand up now. <laughs> she can also be a little, uh, uh, what do I want to say? Um, oh, you can be honest. A little vocal. In a nice way, though, in a nice way. Just sometimes when you're humble and quiet and kind, people never expect you to change. Do you agree with that? What she's saying about you? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a quiet assassin. <laughs> you never want to be the loudest in the room. Yeah, it's just <laughs> It all goes back to just our principles of love and service and faith and being a real family. Like this is this is who we are. Hi. Being back in the Chicago area, being back in Lincolnwood, that's that's home. My tribe is what keeps me going and what keeps me focused on the task at hand. I'm able to train the way I want to train because of the people around me. I'm able to be myself all the time because of people around me. Hey, M1. No good deed. No ball. No ball. My brother, it's nice seeing him play. I only beat him once in my life, but he's like, 
The reason why I fell in love with the game of basketball. I was a professional athlete. I played internationally, and just being in the athlete space now and advising other athletes, that's really where I come and help to say, okay, you're present now and doing what you need to do on the court, but it's the 10 to 20 years after where we can really make an impact for you and your legacy. Are you proud of her? Yeah, I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her, but I think don't get comfortable. Stay humble, work hard. What else could we accomplish that we haven't done already? Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. Hard work. The next evolution is to be unstoppable. I think that I'm at a level mentally that I've never been at before. The greatest thing about being a human is the ability to adapt and grow. I think the moment you think that you figured it out, that's when you just plateau. And I don't want to ever plateau as a human, as a basketball player.